Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you all my recipe for chicken tenders. I didn't have tenders but I did use chicken breast and cut it up into strips. So whichever one you have on hand, feel free to use that. So if you'd like to see how to make this deliciously amazing appetizer, let me show you. So guys, to make this chicken tenders, I have here in my bowl some chicken, I have two chicken breasts that I cut up into strips because I couldn't get tenders. So if you guys are using tenders, that's okay. If you can't find it, just do what I did, cut the chicken breast into strips. So to this, I'm going to go in with some black pepper. To that, I'm also going to go in with some celery salt. So we're building all our spices. In goes some parsley or you can use some bandana if you wanted in this recipe I'm going in with some fine thyme some cayenne pepper some slap your mama seasoning now this is a Cajun seasoning all of these seasonings contain salt so you want to don't add any additional salt in goes some Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning. Mama seasoning. And some paprika goes in last. All I have to do now is give this a mix. Once mixed in properly, you're going to cover it and set it aside in your refrigerator or on your counter. If you're putting it on your counter, just let it sit for about 10 minutes. You don't wanna leave raw meat on your counter for too long. Um, if you're leaving it more than that, place it into your refrigerator. So guys, to make this, I'm actually going to be making a wet batter to coat the chicken pieces. So to my bowl, I'm going to go in with some whole milk. In goes one egg. Now we're going to flavor it with all of the same flavorings that we seasoned the chicken with. So, some cayenne pepper. I'm going in with some celery salt. Some slap your mama seasoning or any Cajun seasoning that you have on hand. Some black pepper. Open your hand, I'll give you some. Let's see what he'll do when I give him black pepper. He's gonna eat it, you know. Let's see if he likes it. Some paprika goes in next. Okay guys, so to this wet mixture, I'm going to go in with some cornstarch. The cornstarch is gonna help give us a really nice crunchy um, exterior. And I'm also going to add in some flour. But we're using a ratio of the cornstarch, we need more cornstarch, more than flour in here. So just mix that. Once mixed in, set aside, let's work on a dry mixture. Okay, so guys, I'm going to go in with some seasoned panko breadcrumbs. You can use cricks, you can use any type of crackers you have. And to the panko breadcrumbs, I'm going to add some of that Cajun seasoning that we used in the, the season and in the batter. Some celery salt. And some cayenne pepper. Along with some paprika. So we're just mimicking all of the flavors from um, the chicken to the mixture to this dry mix. So you just want to mix this in and if you guys didn't have crackers or breadcrumbs feel free to use flour so once this is mixed in now we have to start to coat our chicken pieces so I'm going to to make life easier I'm just going to dump the wet mixture in here because we have to coat it in any case and I'm going to give this a mix and I'm going to let it sit I'm going to let it sit in here for about two minutes, let it soak up some of that, um, that mixture. So we're going to take our pieces of chicken that we have soaking in that mixture and dip it into our breadcrumb mixture. Now you can coat all of them, set them aside and then start frying or you can start to fry immediately. Okay, now this goes into my hot oil. Mommy, 
So I'm just gonna give this a flip. And you see how beautiful that looks? That panko breadcrumbs really gives you a nice, um, crunchy, light exterior. Once your chicken pieces have a nice golden color, take it out and place it on a wire rack and allow it to cool down. So guys, here you have it, the finished product. Absolutely delicious, crispy, crunchy, and very moist on the inside. Let me just break into one so you guys can see. And I wanna bite into it also. Mmm, really, really, really tasty. So if you guys try this recipe, Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys for requesting it. Thank you for joining me today. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.